So just a little pro, uh, just a little video on the program I use to record all the articles I read, and for I also use it to um, save the amount of unknown words later on into my uh, sheet, into my Google Sheet. Um, program is called Evernote. It's a free program. You can download it on their website. Uh, just have to sign up there. You can also pay for it, but the features are yeah nothing at least if you don't travel a lot i don't think that you need it i also don't really need it sometimes because the biggest difference is that you can um, if you have a different computer or a tablet or stuff like that you can download the program there as well log into your account and it will sync with uh, your articles so you have uh, you have the same stuff everywhere uh, but after a while you reach uh, upload limit and then you can't upload your stuff anymore, so it doesn't work. What? But you can. So you c I, if I want to add a new article right here because I already reached my limit, uh, it doesn't work, and I get an error message because you ca can't upload it. But you can create over here. You can create no local notebooks and local notebooks. Yeah, like it says, they're just local, and you can create as many as you want. You can add pictures and whatever doesn't matter only if you want to sync them it takes from your upload volume and after a while just get, um, you'll just use it up so if you want to you could pay for it but I don't um, I just use the free version and it works quite well okay I think the easiest way I will explain how I use it um, based first on an NHK Web Easy article and then afterwards on a normal news article Okay, so, uh, and also what I meant, um, it's for entering your stats in here and also in here, and otherwise it's also pretty useful. I s I'll show a little bit in a few seconds. Okay, no, oh, wrong article, this one. Um, first example, I just picked an NHK Web Easy article that had a, which had a video, so I can show also how I copy a picture from there into the into Evernote. So basically what I do when I find an article I want to read, or in the case of uh, NHK Web Easy, I read every article they put out every day. Um, so I just open the article, copy the title, go into Evernote, click on New Note, and open, open a separate window, and then type in two brackets, put in the title, and then back into the article and just copy the whole text in here and copy it over and change the color, make it clean. Exactly. Okay, so now I have the whole text in here. Another way to get a text into Evernote is to use their web extension because the, instead of using the program you can also use the web version of it but I tried it and I don't really like it plus um, they copy a lot of stuff it automatically copies a lot of stuff that I want to have in my I don't want to have in Evernote and ju it just distracts when you're reading so I don't use it this way also um, even if you copy it per hand it still as you can see copies the link over here from the original article so if I click here it will open the article autom automatically. So even after a while, uh, after you've, oh, after you've, you stop it, <laughs> after you've uh, finished reading the article, you could still go back and look at it if there's something missing or you're just not sure. Or I don't know for what reason, or you want to copy a picture that you forgot to copy or stuff like that. Um, yeah, which is pretty useful. Okay, now since I have the article in, I just need the picture. And if it's a normal picture, you can just right-click it and copy it in. But since it's a video, I use the clipper. And just click here. And then it's already copied on your clipboard. And you can paste it in. And that's basically it. Um, what I, uh, I think most people would know it. The snipping tool It's already uh, in Windows. So you can just use it that way. And then after I've prepared everything, you can close this window and go into normal Evernote and there it is. Okay, so this is the whole article. After that, I 
also have a stopwatch program to record my reading time. It's a pretty small program, I just put it down here and when I start reading I press the timer and I start reading the article in Evernote, go through it and if I encounter a word I don't know, let's say for example I don't know what this means, I mark it red, don't know what this means, also mark it red. Yeah, and after I finish the article just go back, stop the timer and also then I have the time to input in the Google Sheet. Um, my system, I think you can change it any way you want, but what I did, or what I still do, red are words I don't know, so normal words. On the other hand, green, like this one, um, are for names, for prefectures, like here, and those two. Um, or for people and stuff like that. In this case, it's the Ministry of really, yeah, it's the, right here, <laughs> Ministry of Health and whatnot. Um, and I also don't count those words. So basically, let's say I finished the article and there are only two words I don't know. I would write two right here. Um, so I don't count those words because I don't see a reason to really learn them. After a while it also gets easier to read them. Even this one, I never really made a sentence card specifically to learn it, but after a while I was still able to read it just because the kanji used are pretty easy. And if you read it often enough, you can, uh, you do remember the meaning after a while. And also if you add a sentence, if I, let's say I wanted to add this sentence, I also ignored green words. I just ended the sentence into Anki and tried to read them when the card came up but if I was unable to, but I was still able to read the rest of the of the sentence, I still counted it, it as correct, and after a while I was still able to read them. Sure, there are some cards that even after a while, if that's, if it's really a obscure name or uh, some uh, old person where I don't really uh, have that much repetition with their name, I do forget them again, but uh, yeah, like I said, I don't really um, I don't fail a card if I'm unable to read stuff like that because it's I don't think that it's really that important okay so after I've read the article like I said I put in two and since it's uh, NHK web easy I didn't count the words so I just counted the unknown words since the article uh, in length are pretty comparable the, uh, they are always around if I had to guess I would say around 400 words or so, um, a few more, a few less, but since it's similar I, w I don't think it's important to count them over a longer period of time, uh, you st can still compare it. Okay, so back to Evernote. Um, I copied the article in, the picture is in, I read it, two unknown words, enter two in here. Um, my original system was, like you can see here, or better here, um, first letter uh, is unknown words upon first reading the article, so only one here. Second one, not mind. If I mind a sentence from an article, I would change it to M and the number. So for example here, M1, mind one, I mind one sentence from here. And the last one, R1, is just how many sentences I have left to mind. So here is one left. But in the, new, uh, in the normal news articles, I changed it to just amount of unknown words and amount of um, characters in the article um, but I will go over it in a few seconds I think but I think it's enough if you at least when it comes to NHK Web Easy articles if you just enter the amount of unknown words over here and the rest can be handled via the tags and they are pretty useful um, when you uh, want to enter a tag you just click on here and you can enter anything you want you can call it whatever you like after you've used a tag once you can then just put in the first letter and it will show you how many uh, show you the text you've used which started with A and how many um, articles or how many notes already use this tag so in my case article 265 um, then I have the tag for important tag for STMR which means sentences to mine remain and uh, UWR, which means unknown words remain. 
So what I basically use those, those for, if I read an article and there's a word I think I've seen before or I think I've seen a few times, I use the important tag um, so that I know that uh, there is a sentence in this article that I want to mine. STMR, like I said, sentences to mine remain, which means there are still sentences that I want or can mine. Um, so it basically excludes sentences where there are too many unknown words or sentences that I don't understand despite um, uh, despite um, reading the definitions of the words or stuff like that. And w uh, UWR just means that, are, that there are unknown words that remain. So in this case I have two unknown words remaining so the text stands and I can mine these sentences that say I want to mine them so STMR also remains. If I look back in this one, for example, there's no unknown word remaining, so no UWR tag and also no, no STMR tag since um, there are no sentences remaining. No words, <laughs> no sentences. Okay, and the good thing about them is later on you can just click on here. So let's say you want to mine, you can just click here and it shows you all the tags you've used, at least in this folder. You can create different folders, I'll show in a second. And then you can click on important and it will show you all the articles which have the important tag. Or you can use multiple tags, important and unknown words remain. But most of the time, I, uh, afterwards, if I don't have anything to mine, uh, remain, uh, I delete the tag anyway, so you don't really need multiple ones. Or you can just use um, unknown words remain. So all the articles where there's still a word that I don't know, at least upon last visiting them <laughs> a few days ago, I went back through the NHK Web Easy articles just for fun to look um, how many of the words that I marked as unknown I know by now, and I was able to delete a lot. I went to about through about 50 articles or so. Um, yeah, but this way you can use it to find your sentences. And also, if you let's say you read an article and you find a word, but uh, let's say in this sentence I have a few more unknown words and I don't want to mine a sentence with three unknown words so what I can do is I can just copy the word put it in here and it will automatically show me all the articles that contain this unknown word and you can just go over it here 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 so pretty easy Theoretically, you could combine it with a tag, but yeah, whatever you want. It can help you to search a lot of stuff at once, so it's pretty useful. Okay, so, and now to normal articles. Yeah, this one I still have to finish. I started reading yesterday. A lot of stuff. Um, yeah. Okay, so if I want to mine a normal article, I just opened one, for example this one basically the beginning is the same I create a new note copy the title and brackets put it in here and then just copy from here all the way down at least in this source I know I can stop right here because the rest it's just always the same text and I don't really want to read it again. So I can copy this, string C, go into Evernote, string V, and it's in, uh, also with the pictures. And you can also change the size, link is al also already uh, in there, so I have it saved for later. It also copies the links from the text itself, so if they link to another article on their website, you can just click in Evernote and it will open the original link. Okay, close this. And then to get the amount of words, like here, or amount of characters, you can just... Yeah, I already did it. <laughs> just to try it out. Yeah, you can just copy it, uh, paste it in here, scroll down, and then you can see the amount... Nah, what's it doing? The amount of unknown words, <laughs> 3,104. And you can just paste it in here so um, that you get your words for the cal calculations. 
Then afterwards, same thing, article is in here. I can start a timer, start reading, and after and while reading also quickly mark this uh, mark the words I don't know. I don't know if there is a shortcut for it, like in uh, like with the Anki add-on, where I can use just uh, shortcuts to color your words. Maybe there is. I don't have uh, I don't have looked that deep into the program, but this way it works as well. It takes maybe a few milliseconds more, but yeah, not that long. So like this, I just go through the article and afterwards type in the unknown words right here, let's say 29 unknown words and after the bracket like here or when I finished right here I would add the amount of words or characters in the article and the tags I use right now are either mind so basically like this one I went through it and took all the sentences so I marked it as mind plus to make it a little bit easier since it shows up right here I also put a, M, a bold M before the brackets so but this one I haven't mind so I just use not mind and later on if I click on not mind I get all the articles I could still mind sentences from there are still some remaining so exactly um, same uh, same thing as before you can copy words like here and search through all the articles so this word is used in four of those articles yeah so this way you can uh, pretty safely track all your all your articles for different sources if you want uh, for different websites and if you create these local notebooks you can use multi uh, you can also you uh, save as many as you want and you can search them all at once so I think this program is pretty good and it's also since it saves the art uh, the links you can look it up uh, you can uh, visit the articles later on and uh, through the text you can search pretty fast so I think this program is pretty pretty useful um, also for um, just for sentence mining in general since you get that m many words uh, into a, a easy searchable <laughs> format um, yeah I use it since practically since I started reading um, uh, NHK Web Easy articles, and also right now you can also use it for different stuff. I um, saved sentences from books right here since I read them as uh, um, in Kindle format. I can just copy them out. Or I can use it for whatever you want. Also, another good uh, version is I when I read the uh, manga and I want to <laughs> haven't used it in a while I guess I can delete a few here um, when you read manga you can just uh, same technique so you use the snipping tool you can make screen capture of the of the uh, sentence or and type it in here I use for this I also use Google Translate since I don't really like the <laughs> The Windows IMI, I don't know how it, what it's called, basically that you can tr uh, type in Japanese, but I use Google and it works just as well. So also, so I have my pictures saved and I can use them later on. Yeah, that's how I use it. Maybe someone else will try it out, um, or for those using my uh, sheet, they c so they can um, enter all their stuff and keep track of their words. Yeah, just try it out.